Hello guys and welcome to buying and configuring hosting and domain by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy and configure a hosting account and a domain name in Namecheap. Okay, so you can basically use any registrar or hosting company to do this. It works in similar ways to just provide you with a wizard um, and an easy way to do this. So let's get started. So as you can see, I'm currently at namecheap.com. So this is our homepage. So first off, we're going to need a domain name. So if you look over here, we have things like domain name search and some extra stuff. We have hosting, we have WordPress. And if you remember from the previous video, I, I mentioned different kinds of hosting accounts. Okay, so we have shared hosting, we have managed WordPress hosting, we have VPS and we have dedicated servers. Okay, so you can see also we have managed WordPress hosting here. So Namecheap is a good example of a hosting company that offers different tiers of hosting. So for this, we're going to be going with shared hosting. So I'm just going to click on shared hosting. Um, I already have a hosting account created and purchased and connected to my uh, domain name, but I'm just going to show you how you can do this. So we have different plans. You can go monthly or yearly. So I'm just going to go with the entry level. So this gives us 20 gig worth of SSD storage. We can host three domains and um, get a free domain name. Okay. So that's what the Stellar account offers. Uh, Stellar Plus offers extra stuff like unlimited SSD, so you can store more uh, files, unlimited websites, and more of that. So we're going to get started with just this. So you click on get started and it's going to take you to the next page. So over here, you have the option to either buy a new domain name or use an existing domain. OK, so for this tutorial, you are buying a new domain name. So just select new domain. If you're using an existing domain and let's say you purchased it with another registrar, you have to click on this and you select a third party domain name here. OK, so you type in the domain name and it's going to provide you a uh, uh, name servers and all you have to do is replace the name servers there and point it to that of Namecheap. Okay, so if I typed in wcourses.co.uk for example, it's going to search and if I click on connect hosting, it's going to connect that. Okay, so um, once this is added to your account, you can proceed to purchase the the hosting account so we're just going to go with new domain name here go below here and we search for a domain so i'm just going to type in wa tutorials so we're not going to purchase this and i just want to show you how it works okay so wa tutorials so this is not registered as you can see here it costs 8.88 dollars per year okay so selected this and i'm just going to click connect to hosting so once you do that, you also have um, ICANN fee, which is $0.18, and everything adds up to $27.50. So you get a shared hosting account connected to your wa-tutorials.com domain. So this is something you should know. Uh, when you're purchasing a domain name and a hosting account from the same company, you don't really need to do any form of configuration, any name server configuration. Everything gets connected automatically. So we we'll just click on Add to Cart and We'll go over to our cart and check out okay so you can add um who is guard if you want so this just allows you to um, hide your domain registration information okay so every single domain has domain registration available to whoever wants to check that okay so if someone goes to whois.com or something like that and tries to check a domain name, they can see things like your address and your phone number and stuff like that. So if you don't want that to happen, you can just add in who is card. So this is free. If you're using Namecheap, this is a free um, add-on, okay? So that's basically it. For SSL, you don't really need to get an SSL here. They're gonna give you a free SSL. Then you click on confirm order. So once you do this, you just need to add in your credit card details and you'll be able to get this. So I already have one uh, purchased and everything. I'm just showing you how you can set this up. Okay. So once you've purchased your hosting account and domain name, you're going to get this on your dashboard. So you get the domain name and over here, these are the list of products. So if I click on this, I'm going to get the list of products under uh, this domain name. So I have a Stellar account. I have 
an SSL that is um, val valid for a year and I also have the domain name itself so you can do things like renew and all that so this is going to look different for every hosting company and registrar and it's really really easy to just um, navigate around this so if you want to change the setting for your domain you click over here and you go to manage okay so I'm just going to show you th things about the domain name here so the domain name for this um, video this course is wacourses.co.uk so over here you get things like um, name servers so by default you get the name cheap basic dns so you have to come in here and change it to name cheap web hosting dns okay so once you do this you'll be able to use your c panel you can also do other things like share and transfer the domain and something called advanced dns but you don't, we're not really going to go in depth into this uh, in this video so i'm just going to keep things simple i'm just showing you your options here so once you purchase this um hosting account and everything they're going to send a uh, email to your uh mail account so you get um uh, access to the cpanel from there okay so they give you the cpanel password the cpanel username and the cpanel url but a neat thing with uh namecheap is you can just come over here under stellar and click on go to cpanel okay so if i click on this it's just going to log in automatically and i don't really need to add in any passwords so there are different hosting accounts some hosting accounts um, some hosting companies will provide you with just a password and this is just something that I, uh, makes Namecheap a little bit more better so they allow you to log in um, directly so once you log in this is your c panel okay so this is where we're going to be doing things like setting up wordpress and um, setting up ftp emails and everything of that sort okay so this is the ip address assigned to this specific server so this shared hosting account this is our ip address being shared okay and this is our home directory so I'm going to uh, be explaining more about everything here in later videos. So this is just to help you get set up. You can use any other hosting account if you want. You can use, um, you can use GoDaddy, you can use uh, Bluehost. They all work in similar ways. They just give you access to, um, they just have different layouts, but they work the same way. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, you understand how everything is working for domains and hosting. I'll see you guys in the next video.